popular art YouTuber and Filipino artist Kulin has found herself in hot waters metaphorically as she voluntarily became the art community's scapegoat for internet controversies. In one of her not so recent videos where she did her own version of the infamous draw this in your art style trend also known as Ditus, she put a unique spin to it where she self proclaims yassifies the drawings by making them much more attractive increasing the sexual tension between her uwu audience and the quote unquote yassified drawings she purposefully makes and in this spectacular 8 minute piece of online entertainment for parasocial audiences Kulin yassified one out of three of the art community's favorite storytime youtubers giving her new features on par with the Chun-Li skin from Fortnite and apparently the art community on YouTube called her out on it and was not cool with it. Even if Jaden wasn't arrow ace, calling someone goth mommy will just make anyone borderline uncomfortable. These aren't characters girl, they are real people. Calling Jaden an arrow ace woman who has said she doesn't like being called such things is so uncomfortably weird. Calling Jaden a goth mommy and just doing all of this in general is breaking like basically all of Jaden's boundaries. She's a real person and this shit is so fucking weird. Gosh, I'll definitely be needing the help of God for this video because clearly we're lurking through the murky waters of the internet and I don't think I'm fully prepared to dive face down nose deep into what seems to be provocative and sensitive content. Yassification what does it mean to yassify? Giving someone or something a glow up or makeover, not to be confused with look smaxing, which we'll get into in a completely different video from this one. To yassify someone or something, according to Urban Dictionary, means to give them a glow up or do something that makes you scream yes queen while snapping your fingers. It normally refers to a change admired in the LGBTQ plus community or boss bitch culture. The term yassified or yassification has been around for some time now and while it was not so popular in the art community, it had already triggered multiple memes on TikTok and other social media platforms. Memes with celebrities or popular characters sporting a pair of new eyelashes the size of frisbees and sparkling juicy lips with a matching set of also sparkling press on nails attached were already circulating the internet and while most of these yassified photos mostly stopped at the face of the character, some other interesting users of cyberspace started taking their yassified photos a little too far adding things like to their characters. I first found out about this situation when a colleague in my co-shared space at YouTube named Rin talked about it in her video where she expressed her concerns a great deal about Kulin and her predicament. So now that we're all on the same page in the great big book of internet terminologies chapter 12 yassification, let's all come together and watch Kulin's video and see what exactly she did that pissed everyone off and why her entire comment section was big mad. Okay, first is Jaden Animations. Dang, this this looks so basic. What is that shirt? Where'd she get it from? Target? Okay, well, we're gonna yassify her real quick. Okay, I like how we're forced face first into the video with no prior warning so we can be prepared for what we're about to get into. I like it. I like it a lot. First, let's do her pose and then her face. Okay, so her main thing is this huge poof of hair, right? Guys, you can tell Jaden is millennial because she has that millennial side part. I'm gonna make her hair as big and poofy as possible. And of course, the uh, hugger. Okay. Wait a second, guys. This is what Jaden looks like in real life? Wow. Mommy? Wow, I didn't know she was a goth mommy. Ooh la la. Look at those tattoos that will be a pain in the butt to draw later on. Aside from the subtle jabs and not so under the table jokes Kulin throws at our audience, while she goes ahead to dissect the very essence of the reference photo, Kulin made a big mistake which at this point will seem rather innocent on her part but will go on to haunt her for the rest of the video. Doing this to someone who's had severe body dysmorphia and has hid her face out of fear of this happening is insane. Let's not call Jaden goth mommy when she's arrow ace and has said she doesn't like being sexualized. This is really up to do to someone who used to be anorexic and has expressed having insecurities with her body. Not only did you make her skinnier and stereotypically attractive, but you also called her a goth mommy when she's arrow ace and very uncomfortable with being sexualized. This is weird behavior. You're drawing real people and changing them into this model of conventional Eurocentric attractiveness instead of respecting them as people whose real features deserve acknowledgement. Why would you compare her to how she looks IRL when you aren't drawing that at all. Arrow ace, arrow ace. What does arrow ace mean? A person who feels little to no romantic nor sexual attraction. Short for aromantic 
asexual. Oh, well, shiver me timbers. I just learned a new one on the internet today. As per usual, some aromantic asexual or aromantic asexual people may also feel romantic or sexual attraction for others, but don't feel a need to act on their attraction. That makes sense. That makes sense. So just a little backstory before we continue with Cooling's 8-minute entertainment for Gen Z audiences. Jaden Animations, as the comment mentioned, is Arrow Ace and has supposedly mentioned in the past that she would prefer not to be glamorized or looked at with the internet's parasocial version of the male gaze. And so I did some manual labor in the form of digging the internet's archives to find some more info so I could learn more about the situation. And I found her YouTube fandom wiki page, which she a little bit more details about her that we could learn from. This slice of the metaphorical internet pie also confirmed Jaden as Arrow Ace and shared a bit more about her mental health and her struggles with body dysmorphia and self-consciousness. So please let's all be sensitive and a little mindful while we go through all of this. Although it says she has now overcome them, it's quite understandable why people will be getting mad at Cooling in the comment section. I also found a video where Jaden spoke about her body dysmorphia and how she was working with a therapist to get over it. Therapist has, uh, we did like this thing. It was like a body dysmorphia exercise. So she gave me yarn and she gave me scissors and she's like, cut off as much yarn as you think would go around like each body part like snip it off at where i think it would like go around perfectly yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and so that's so freaking cute <laughs> we're talking about serious stuff yeah. and you're like what you doing so this is how much i overcompensated it's like the visual oh interesting thing of body of dysmorphia much? i cut off this much of like this is my thigh yeah and then it's actually this much. So I see myself as this and then the rest of the world sees this. It's a very cute and wholesome video. They both made the song sharing their experiences and talking about serious topics. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go watch it if you haven't seen it before. Thanks to our internet friends under Cooling's comment section who single-handedly held us in their arms and spoon-fed us with all this information about Jaden animations. Now we are fully aware why it will seem rather Weird, approaching a drawing of Jaden animations in a yassified manner. Since the whole point of yassification is unapologetically increasing the sex appeal and appearance of the character you're yassifying, which for the most part falls under one of the things Jaden struggled with. So anyway, let's do the face. And then basically to make the hair more polished, we're gonna curve it a little bit like this. Alright, so far so good. Now we're gonna color the whole thing like this. Okay, now she looks like tentacruel. I'm gonna start adding the base colors using this lasso fill tool. Bro, I hate that basic violet shirt she's wearing. Whoa, whoa, Cooling. I don't mean to step on your toes there, pardon me. As a person who also happens to be wearing a rather basic shirt sitting in their bedroom pretending to be employed on the internet, why the hate for little squishy warm plain shirts, hmm? Do we need to start hashtag justice for plain shirts? Basic shirts are great if you ask me. I, like a number of people, happen to like basic shirts. They're comfortable for just sitting around the house doing nothing, and if they're oversized, hmm. Give, give me all of them. Give me 10. I am also sure a number of you watching this video right now are probably wearing a basic shirt. And that includes you, Cooling. She looks like a soccer mom, so I made her more edgy with this turtleneck plus jacket. Oh, you should have just said that. You should have just said that. My bad. Okay, I'm gonna add the makeup now. Like, obviously, we don't know her actual eye color because her eyes are literally just two dots. So, violet it is. Let's add really thick lashes. Really ties the whole edgy thing together. Okay, she looks cross-eyed. Let's just change the eye real quick and just airbrush the iris. Ooh la la. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I can't kind of like how the eyes look and I might happen to take a little bit of that technique and apply it in my own work in my spare time. So let me just trace her logo and then warp it on her clothes. Let's add the earrings real quick. Oh, and how did I allow this to happen? Look at how crusty the lips are. Now, Jaden may have non-existent lips, but not on my watch. It's my job to make sure she gets all the lip fillers she needs. So Hello? Hello, Cooling. I don't think we have the capacity to keep on defending you for 
pretty obnoxious things you're saying in this video, Kuli. I don't think we can keep on doing this for too long, Kuli. You're literally using your own words to cause problems for yourself. Like a Hogwarts student intentionally skipping school and trying to cast a spell on a muggle with a broken wand. The entire Ministry of Magic is going to come crashing down on you. <clears throat> Let's see here what the comments are saying. It's my job to give her all the lip fillers she needs. Is what you're saying to someone that was afraid to show their face? Now, Jaden may have non-existent lips. It's my job to make sure she gets all the lip fillers she needs. Girl, what the hell? Not defending her for sexualizing, but it's pretty obvious she was talking about Jaden's avatar and not Jaden herself in that line. I hope, I sure do hope she was talking about the avatar and not the real person because that will literally be doing a 40 feet long jump over the line and not just crossing it. Yeah, but if she took one second and thought about what she is saying, she would realize that it is kind of a rude thing to say that someone needs lip filler. I guess she was talking about the avatar but that can easily be misconstrued. You all need to calm down. How was she being rude? She was only talking about her avatar, not Jaden herself. So it was just a joke. Can't imagine actually taking something like that so seriously over not even the real person but just the avatar. These are all jokes. People are so defensive. The people getting overly defensive as you have pointed out since you are so great at pointing things out on the internet instead of just actually looking at things and trying to understand them for what they are, Jaden has been conscious about her self-image at a particular period of her life. And even if we're not entirely sure if she's in a better place right now, most people are just trying to give her all the respect and peace that she needs now that everyone is aware of it. Which is why everyone in the comments is rather keen on Kuli not yassifying the real life version of her. I liked how this turned out before non-existent lips, dot eyes, and after juicy lips, thick and luscious lashes, very healthy and voluminous hair. Jeez, it's like I'm describing a prized horse. Well, anyway, she looks like her personality did a whole 180, but I like this. She still looks ooh la la. Overall, I really liked how this turned out. I basically turned her into like an emo wings villain, which is a nice contrast against her shyness. I just made her inner mommy come out. Well, that was a pretty interesting roller coaster ride, and I'm glad everyone who went aboard with me has a uh, uh, <laughs> finally found their way down as well. Nice looking drawing Kuleen, I wouldn't even lie. You really did flip the switch on this one, my guy. Took it all the way to a whole nother level. Flip the tables around, if you will. Nice look, nice look. The next part of the video is where Kuleen takes the odd ones out avatar and yassifies him as well. Next, odd ones out. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna yassify this, y'all. This is literally just a naked bald guy. How am I gonna work with that? Well, that shouldn't prove to be a problem since earlier on in the video, you seem to be doing just fine with just the avatar. So a bald little blob shouldn't be that hard, right? Right? Okay, so let's look at James over here. He has a full head of hair, which is a good sign. So I'm gonna draw him winking. <sighs> I... I'm lost for words. He's American, not British. So let me just fix the lips real quick. Mm, juicy. I didn't really know what to do with the hair. I'm literally just kind of copying his real life hair. But anyway, let's just render his suit real quick. I'm gonna add a little clip on his tie and then a bandage over here. And um, some stars. I don't know. So this time, instead of turning him into the badass persona, like how I did with Jaden, I just made him kind of bubbly. And I get that that's not his character at all, but it would be a nice contrast against his sarcastic humor. I rate this 3 out of 10. I could not yassify a naked bald guy. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you very much. I'm so glad you gave yourself the perfect rating without having us do anything else for you. We truly appreciate the honesty and intense care you take in yassifying your drawings. I'm sure no one will find offense in your cute little drawings, right? Because going off of people's actual appearances was the best thing to do. Weird. Why do you need a picture of the person IRL if you're yassifying their online personas? This video really disappointed me. Pauline, I always thought you were a really cool artist and you inspired me until I learned about some more recent and past drama. In this video alone, you actively sexualized a person in their OC that has stated in the past that they do not want to be sexualized and that their sexuality is ROAs. You actively made fun of these artists' art style as you were redrawing and yassifying their characters. You actively operated how they looked by the reference photos that you had of what their IRLs 
yourself looks like and you are refusing to acknowledge that you are wrong with what you did and having your fan base say oh it's just personal option it's not that deep when truly you are just being a horrible person to these three creators you made content out of them and you're making fun of them just to get a quick cash out shame on you honestly maybe while you're searching for photos you should do a little bit more research on what they find comfortable and not comfortable with when people are making content out of them for fuck's sake you made fun of people who have body image issues and if they see this it's just going to add on to those issues because you said that they don't look good enough and drew them differently because that that's what you find pretty cool or cute shameful well that entire call out was a mouthful of a read and up until this point the entire comment section of Coolin's video is still bombarded with people calling her out for making fun of the animators and supposedly changing their ways in her drawings and not respecting the personal boundaries these animators has set out for themselves now i wouldn't want to make an excuse for Coolin, but as a colleague in this office space of youtube central there are incidents where a creator may not possibly know about about an individual's law and may not know about some things regarding them just because they probably don't consume their content enough or are not in the same community as the creator and their audience. So when situations like this arise, doing your own research to confirm if everything you're being told in the comments is true is the only logical step before then updating the video with a little note explaining what happened and cooling off the heat you have drawn to yourself, especially if you really didn't know and just made an innocent mistake. And I know YouTube apology videos have become extremely cringe and the bane of everyone's existence but a simple note in the description pinned comment or on the community tab acknowledging your mistake to your audience will go a long way for your image especially to your enraged audience except while well, you're under a presumed nda and you can't talk about the situation at that particular point then i guess that's a different story the video ends with cooling yassifying the last animator and while this one is apparently not as problematic as the last two since she tried to stick closer to his avatar this time so a lot of people were not going off on her in the comments for drawing him a little weird or making fun of his features. At this point it's safe to assume Coolin is probably sorry not sorry for her video and while people are in the comments urging her on to bring out the ukulele and make an apology video the probability of that happening is literally the same as seeing a pig with wings fly in 2024. So I guess the only thing everyone can do is just to move on for their own peace of mind. Well it looks like we've made it to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like share the video with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you are new here with all that being said i'll see all you pretty penguins in the next video bye Come on.